believe it or not, I coached my first team when I was 18. And I've coached the team every single year since. You do the maths on that. I think you're looking at maybe 26, 27 years I've been coaching teams for. It's something I've had a passion for. Would it be better than playing? Definitely not. There's only one thing to me that really gave me immense satisfaction that was playing. This is, it's not a bad second, so it isn't, but it's not as good as playing. Like, and that's the one thing I'd say to any player, and especially playing leagues or playing for your club or anything, nothing beats playing. Play as long as you can and enjoy it. Um, then you can come into this minefield afterwards, you know? My philosophy around coaching is, is very straightforward. You have to look at the panel you have, and you have to develop the strengths of the panel you have. Is there a set way? Do you play with a sweeper, we often hear? Do you play a straight six backs? What formation do you play up front? Do you play more direct? Do you go short? That all depends on what you have. I think being able to vary your play between short, long, and all that is very important, I think, to be able to do everything. And I would like to think that I could coach both ways. But you have to be able to adapt to the players you have. And I think a lot of people lose sight in that. There isn't a Davy way of playing. Because um, I know from even times at LIT, I would have gone very direct with the people I had if I felt I had a lot more strength and wasn't too mobile. Then if I felt I had guys that were really mobile, it's shorter and get it to spaces and different things. It depends what you have. So there is different ways you go at things. It just all depends on the personnel. I think you have to move with the times. Like a lot of the teams I've coached and had success with, we've just done things differently. And that's why we've got success. If you do the same things, you'll get the same results. Does that go down well with some of the general public? No. You'll hear the story, will you hit the ball long? Will you do this? Will you do that? I know, but you'll get the same results as you've always got. That's my thing. And I love being able to coach different things and do different things. And the most important thing I find I get out of Everton is when you get a team that's not meant to win something and to win something, that is you can't buy that. That is incredible. And I've been fortunate enough between club and county and colleges to have done things like that. And I get immense pleasure out of it. And you just have to let the negativity go by you. I had a heart blockage last year. And is it a scary thing? It is because when you have a 90% blockage and you have to get a stint, you know you're, you're very close to not being in a good, a good place. So um, trying to deal with it. And I'm working on certain things at the moment um, to, to deal with that. Like, your health is everything in life, whatever about winning hurling games and doing stuff. And I, and I always say this to the lads I'm with, we're lucky to be able to go out on the sideline or we're lucky to be able to go out in the field and let go and enjoy ourselves and it shouldn't be a pressure. I love guys to just let go and, and, and play. That's not a pressure. If you have an illness or you're sick, we are so lucky. To me, the number one thing in life is your health and is to enjoy life and you've got to do that as much as possible. It probably would be no harm if I got a break and took a break. Um, but the persuasion probably of the Wexford chairman when he came to me and came back to me two or three times, um, I said I'd give it a go for the year or two. Um, and I'd probably find it very hard not to be doing something. I couldn't imagine myself just sitting on the couch and watching stuff. It's probably not me. And um, Will I take a break soon? I, I will probably after this. Um, but what will a break be? That might be from Intercounty. Will I get home probably with my local club, Six Mile Bridge, which I adore? Yeah, I, I haven't put enough time in there recently and I'd love to be able to do a bit more, so that's probably what will happen. But I don't see me ever not been doing something um, as long as I'm healthy. And that's my goal is to get even healthier if I can.